Hello world, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've basically been unwell for the last uh, week and a bit. Uh, two Saturdays ago, I went to the bathroom and felt it was really quite burning sensation when urinating. Um, it didn't look cloudy, it didn't smell or anything like that. So I did a, a random uh, dip test on it and sure enough, there were nitrates in it. Uh, lucky for me, my GP has allowed me to keep a stock of antibiotics over here because I used to have UTIs an awful lot. So checking this stuff was still in date, which it was. I started taking some medication on the Saturday evening. And Sunday, the following day, checked the urine again. And yes, there was still nitrate in it. So I just carried on with the meds as normal following the instructions. Unfortunately, it does say on there, I have to contact my GP to let him know that I'm taking these things. However, it was Sunday and there's no way to get hold of anybody. So Sunday, I just felt a little bit groggy, but okay-ish, but a little bit groggy. I couldn't really explain it. Sunday evening, uh, this is about 11 o'clock in the evening. I needed to get up to, uh, I was in the office and uh, I needed to get up because I was gonna go to bed and I needed a wee and I found that I couldn't stand up. My balance was all over the place. Uh, my legs just felt like nothing. There was nothing there. Uh, I stood up, I collapsed back into the chair. I tried to stand up again, I collapsed back into the chair. And at that point I'm thinking, how am I gonna get from here to A, the bathroom, and B, go to bed? Because obviously in bed is probably the safest place for me to be are less likely for me to fall. Um, unfortunately, it didn't get anywhere. By 12 o'clock, I'd unfortunately already had an accident because so I couldn't get to the bathroom quick enough. Uh, couldn't stand up still. And thankfully, both girls were here, both my uh, adult girls. And uh, in true style, they took control. And between them and some brute force on my behalf, I managed to get myself up onto my Zimmer frame and walk to the bedroom. Now, I don't remember the walk because I couldn't feel my legs. It's just really weird. There's just nothing there. Um, anyway, managed to get into bed and collapse into bed, which for me is, as I said, the safest place to be. Um, the girls took my old clothes away and put them in the wash machine, which I'm really internally grateful for. They didn't comment on anything. They just did it. Um, <clears throat> so that was on the Sunday. I still carried on taking the meds. Uh, Monday, I tried to wake up to, uh, to contact my GP. Unfortunately, we've got to go through this um, online thing called Anima, um, which is okay generally, but when you're feeling unwell, you can't feel your hands and you're numb from your head, literally your shoulders down to your toes. You can't feel anything and things are not moving quite right. Trying to type a message in on a mobile phone is like trying to pick a needle from a haystack. It just, yeah, so I gave up in the end. Um, thankfully, I've got uh, a collection of bed baths, uh, bed baths, bed uh, bottles and things like that. So, you know, going to pee and things like that was okay. Unfortunately, it was quite a lot often and I kind of stopped taking fluids, stop drinking. And I also took some Imodium uh, tablets, which basically block up the other end. Uh, it stops your stomach's um, pulsing to stop you needing to go to do a number two, uh, because there's no, no way I was gonna be able to get out of my bed to get to the bathroom. Um, it's not recommended to do Imodium. Uh, the only reason why I took the dosages and patterns I did is in the past when I used to do radio contesting, I did speak to the doctor about it and 
he did explain a pattern that you can take safely to eliminate the need to go to the bathroom for a weekend while you're away kind of thing, which is helpful when you're on top of a hillside. So with that in mind, it was using the same pattern to stop it going to number two here. Tuesday morning, um, I felt so unwell. I actually phoned the GP surgery and spoke to a, a, a receptionist who got the GP to phone me back. That happened Tuesday afternoon and my antibiotics was changed to a different type to, altogether. Um, and basically they were issued Tuesday evening. So my first dose of that was Tuesday. Um, going forward Wednesday, I just couldn't move. Thursday, I tried to stand up, but it didn't feel right. And I sort of collapsed back into bed again. Um, moving forward again, this every day I'm taking antibiotics. So uh, we're coming along. On Friday, I still didn't feel great, but I needed to stand up. I needed to force myself to do it. So I just managed to get myself out of bed. It took me a good five minutes to get to the edge of the bed and things, and then stand up. And it was a little wobbly, but I did manage to walk into the bathroom and have a, a wee there proper toilet break. And I did do another dip test and there were still traces of nitrate in my urine, but they were really quite a small trace, just coloring the stick slightly. Um, so it was obviously working, but I needed to carry on taking the drugs. Saturday, I was up feeling better and I actually had a shower which was a struggle um, I kind of regretted doing it but unfortunately uh, personal hygiene needed to be done so there was just no choice it was just you're gonna have to think about this do it logically do it slowly and just do it um, after the shower I literally collapsed back into bed because I couldn't uh, didn't feel right but you know, after about half an hour, I kind of got back up again, forced myself to get up out of bed. And basically here we are today. Today is Wednesday of the week after. Um, I feel better in myself. The antibiotic course is finished now. Uh, there's no trace of any, any infections in the urine or anything like that. And I feel like my old self. However, you may notice my voice is just slightly different. Um, it's almost a bit husky, if anything. Um, it's better than it was. Um, I said, sort of Wednesday, Thursday, Friday last week, it, it was it was a pitch higher and a lot drier, which is it's weird to uh, describe. I wish I'd actually done the video last week. So it'd have been quite funny for you to listen to my voice. Um, but I would like to go on record and say, you know, it's thanks to my wife and my kids without them, uh, the care they gave me for the last week while I've been unwell has been superb. Uh, I know I've been quite needy of my wife and she has been quite irritable at times because she's been tired, but I wouldn't have been able to do it without her still. So if you ever watch this video, my love, thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm back to my old self. The only thing that is different is um, with the uh, the illness, it did kick off a, UT a, a uh, relapse for me. Uh, I believe the medical term is referred to as a pseudo relapse. Felt pretty bloody real to me though. Um, like I said, couldn't feel anything from my shoulders uh, down to my legs, um, my hands, I couldn't feel them. My arms, I knew they were there and I could feel an aching pain in them. But to touch them, they're just not there. There was no feeling in them. And as I said, I couldn't move my legs at all. Uh, even lying down in the bed, I couldn't cross my legs. They felt crossed uh, and they're not, they're straight. And then they felt like they're bent and then they are straight still. Then they feel straight and they're bent. And it's just, it was awful wasn't a nice feeling. Um, 
but we're getting there. Uh, what it's left me with is my left leg is even worse than it normally is. Um, it feels like I'm dragging along a sort of completely dead weight with me. Um, the balance is still not there. It's not great. Um, going to the car yesterday was the first time I've driven for a long time. Uh, was a struggle. Getting into the car was a struggle, but with the hand controls and everything else, it was easy to drive. But it was just getting in and out of it was the problem. Um, so I don't know if this is what I've got at the moment with this leg thing is going to improve or not. Um, it could be that it's another one of those, the illness, because of the re there was a genuine relapse and it's left me with this new uh, problem to deal with in my left leg. I don't know. Uh, it may come back, it just might need some time. But as myself, I feel normal again, normal-ish. But it's been over 24 months since I last had a UTI, so I'm really surprised, annoyed, um, and was hoping it was literally down to the meds, but I don't know what caused it. Although, interestingly, my daughter, my eldest daughter, has had a UTI as well the week before me, well, sort of uh, four or five days before I went down with it, and her boyfriend's had a UTI as well. Now, I don't know if there is any way it can be related. I know that our family hygiene is such that you wash your hands regularly and, you know, if you're going to cook food, wash your hands, cook food, wash your hands. You know, it's... it's Unfortunately, having a, a nurse in the family is uh, everything has to be done medically uh, clean. That sort of uh, washing technique that they use in the uh, in the hospitals. But uh, I don't know if it's related. Don't think it is. But yeah, I just mention it. So that's where we are at the moment. I've just had a relapse. I've had a UTI. Feel pretty sugary. Nearly swore then. Um, been better. Been worse and uh, certainly a lot better than I have been. So anyway, we'll leave it there. That's where we've been up to for the last, um, well, I don't know, week and a half. Catch you later. Bye-bye.